What's up guys, RGT85 here, and we have been talking about a lot of Black Friday sales on this channel. We've done several Black Friday related videos, but one thing you guys kept asking for was whenever Nintendo released their eShop Black Friday deals, would I be able to go over the list for you guys? And I mean, of course I'll be able to. And Nintendo has just released their cyber deals for Black Friday 2019, and there are a lot of games to go over with this list. So I want to give you guys my recommendations of the games that I definitely think you need to check out and what I think the best deals are now these deals as you can see are available until December 4th so you got some time to pick up these games but there are 65 games that are available on the Nintendo switch eShop that are currently on sale so let's just jump into this list and see what the best games are so we're going to be seeing a lot of $42 games when it comes to the Nintendo switch first party games you can see that the Legend of Zelda breath of the wild is available for $42 if for some reason you don't own this game retailers such as Target are going to have this game available for $30 as a doorbuster for a physical edition so I recommend you go there if you don't mind dealing with the crowd and stuff like that to get the better deal Super Mario Party $42 nah, maybe $24 it'd be worth checking out but Cuphead Cuphead is available for only $15 on the Nintendo switch and this is a game that I paid $20 for and have no regrets I probably would have paid more Cuphead is an absolutely fantastic Nintendo switch game it's an action-adventure game a 2d running gun style game it's very challenging, but the artwork is just absolutely amazing. The music is absolutely amazing. If for some reason you don't own Cuphead, now is the perfect chance to get into the world of Cuphead as it is available for only $15. Moving right along, you can see that both the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, and Doom are available for $30 a piece. And honestly, good prices for those games. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim is a game that you could spend hundreds of hours in. The Nintendo Switch version of the game is absolutely fantastic. They did such a good job porting that game. And honestly, the same thing with Doom as well. Doom still has a very active online community when it comes to this game. It is a first-person shooter. There's not many online first-person shooters that are worth a damn on the Nintendo Switch, but Doom is just so much fun. You're going to get a ton of replay value for your buck out of this. They, of course, did subsequent patches to improve the graphics. It's honestly one of the most technically impressive Nintendo Switch games to date, so definitely a game that I recommend. Nino Kuni is available on the Nintendo Switch for $35, but like I said in my previous Nintendo Switch Black Friday video, there are retailers that have this game for $30, such as GameStop, so you might want to go there and save the $5 and get the physical edition of the game. Moving right along, you can see that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Fire Emblem Warriors are available for $42. Celeste at $10. I probably am going to pick up Celeste. I've heard such good things about it, but for whatever reason, I never got around to playing this game. Dark Souls Remastered is available for $24. $4, a pretty solid game. Here's a really good deal though. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. I've actually been playing this game. I didn't do a full video on it or anything. I'm going to include it in a holiday buyer's guide, but this is a really, really fun game. I think all of the mini events that you have in this game are really well done. The skateboarding is fun and it's just very simplistic in terms of what you can do, but I feel like it's still a lot of fun. There's a lot of pick up and play mentality with this game and they just did a very, very good job with it. So it's being able to save $10 off right out of the gate is very good killer queen black is available for $12 many retailers do have that available for $15 physically captain toad treasure tracker if you don't own captain toad treasure tracker you really need to it's such a fun game I played it to death and beat it on the Wii U but I picked up the Nintendo switch version of the game last year I think it was last year just because I love the new Super Mario Odyssey levels they included in it so if you've never picked it up it's definitely worth checking out SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy is available for $30, and I think that's a good price point for that game. If you like 2D fighters, it's definitely a very fun game, but it is a bit on the simplistic side. They sort of downgraded how the gameplay mechanics were in this game to try to make it more simple and accessible to more people, which is fine, but when you play an SNK fighter, you're thinking of all these crazy combos and things like that, intricate moves, and they kind of dumbed it down a bit, but I think at $30, it's a very good game. I actually did a full video on this game last year on the channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe at $42. No, no. Here's a really good value. NBA 2K20 is available for $30 digitally on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're an NBA fan, you probably already own this game, but I've had lots of people reach out to me that were on the fence about this game, even after my review, maybe they didn't watch my review, asking me if NBA 2K20 is worth it. And from a purely basketball standpoint, hell yes. Like, this game is a fantastic version of NBA 2K20. The basketball 
basketball is very very smooth in this game they've done a lot of improvements to the game as well the my team stuff the my player stuff yeah it sucks there's a ton of nickel and dimes there's a ton of microtransactions and bullshit like that but as far as the actual basketball is concerned it is just top notch in this game and i can't recommend this game enough you also see that wolfenstein 2 the new colossus is available for 30 dollars very fun game it's a game that i had a lot of fun playing and i think it's a very solid version of the game it also did get a graphical patch for it as well so if you haven't played that game in a while you actually might want to check out the graphical patch diablo 3 is available for 40 dollars but some retailers do have it for 30 dollars moving right along though we have super monkey ball banana blitz hd for 30 dollars which is a game we covered on the channel very fun game and if you like super monkey ball it's definitely worth checking out ori in the blind forest definitive edition is available for 14 dollars this is the best version of the game they actually improved ori's character animations to be 60 frames per second so it truly is the definitive version of the game it's a very fun metroidvania style game that a ton of people love so at 14 dollars i think that's a very good pickup we have two capcom games that i want to highlight in this next list dragon's dogma dark arisen available for 20 dollars if you're a fan of games like elder scrolls you know those open world action adventure rpgs with big hulking creatures such as dragons you're gonna love dragon's dogma like i was blown away by how much fun i had with this game it's definitely a bit shorter than something like elder scrolls but you can extend the life of it by doing things like side quests in the game the main story is a bit on the shorter side when you compare it to something like elder scrolls but for 20 dollars, it's definitely a game worth checking out i think the nintendo switch version of the game was very well done as well and the second game is Okami HD, available for $15. Just an absolutely amazing visual art style to this game. If you like games like The Legend of Zelda, it sort of plays like a Legend of Zelda game, except you're a wolf. So that's kind of cool. You know, think Twilight Princess, the wolf stuff, but it's honestly done a little bit better than the wolf stuff. Here's the best deal, though. Sonic Mania for $10. This is the best 2D Sonic game in recent memory. This is the best Sonic game in recent memory. Sonic Mania is an absolutely fantastic game, and if for some reason you don't don't own it this is the time to buy it for ten dollars that's an absolute steal if you only buy one game on this list make sure it's sonic mania because it is worth every penny i'm sure spawn wave is very happy about jedi knight 2 jedi outcast being available for eight dollars but eh, didn't really like it that much Moving right along, another great bargain is Unravel 2 available for $5. Now, it's a short game. It's only about six hours long, five hours long, but it's definitely a very fun game. If you enjoy puzzle platformer games, I think you're going to have a good time with this game. I enjoy the co-op mechanic where you can either play with yourself that sounded kind of funny or play with someone in local co-op to solve some of these puzzles as there are two different yarny characters that you have in this game but i really like this game it has a performance mode and a graphics mode so i think they did a very solid job with bringing this game to the nintendo switch now from a purely dollar point standpoint of a discount dragon ball fighters Fighter Z, I don't know, I'm not a big Dragon Ball person, is available for just $15, marked down from $60, so you might want to check out that game. Moving right along, we have Katamari Damacy Reroll, $18, please buy Katamari. Like, it's the weirdest game you'll ever play, the music is weird, the aesthetic is weird, but the vibe is just so wholesome. It's so much fun rolling this little ball into this little thing where you're like, oh, it'll never grow, and then next thing you know, you're like taking down skyscrapers and stuff. One of the most unique games of all time, and definitely a game that I absolutely love Mega Man 11 available for $15 if you're a fan of retro style platformer games Mega Man 11 is top-notch you know I absolutely love this game when I played it and beat it last year and for $15 that's an absolute steal I feel you have the Grandia HD collection available for $28 I've heard mixed things about it you know I heard Grandia 2 is very well done whereas the original Grandia not so much but Grandia 2 is definitely a game that I love it's actually the first RPG that I sat through and played for 26 hours straight and beat it I don't know why I did that, but hey, we did it. And then the final two games I want to highlight are Hotline Miami Collection, available for $13. If you're a fan of GTA style games, the top-down GTA style with a retro aesthetic, Hotline Miami is a no-brainer for you. I actually did not pick up the Nintendo Switch version yet, but for $13, or actually less than $13, $12.50, I will be checking that out. And Mortal Kombat 11 is available for just $30. Now, Mortal Kombat 11 is definitely a game that pushes the Nintendo Switch pretty much to its limits, but they did do some subsequent graphics patches 
matches in this game, the online in the game was surprisingly very smooth, and it's Mortal Kombat. It's over the top, it's bloody, but it's super fun. Yes, the crypt definitely leaves a lot to be desired on the Nintendo Switch version of the game, like we talked about in my review, but for only $30, like I think that is a fantastic deal. It is available at some retailers for $30 physically as well, but I think, you know, if you just want to go digital, that's a good way to do it. And those are most of the best I feel deals within the eShop stuff here. There are some other games available on here. There's a lot of stuff, you know, Tales of Asperia for $25. That's a really good deal. Uh, Monster Hunter Generations for $25. That's good. Resident Evil 4 for $20. That's good too. So there's a lot of stuff here. So I want you guys to look over this list. I'm going to have the list in the description box down below. And maybe you guys could tell me what games I might have missed or what games I should be wanting to check out. But those are just my picks from this list. I think there's a ton of great stuff and there's a ton of great values in here. So let me know in the comment section down below what you plan on picking up and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications i will not be uploading a video tomorrow as tomorrow is thanksgiving in the united states i'll be chilling with my family watching football and eating turkey copious amounts of turkey so enjoy your thursday guys i will catch you guys on friday and as always i'll also catch you guys on the next video later